Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Leadership by example. Everlasting gospel del delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Matthew chapter 12, verses 49 to 50. And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Second lesson, John chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother, and his mother's sister Mary the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then said he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her into his own home. Golden text, John chapter 14, verse 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself in him. The true and false prophets. Quote, Beloved, can you see from these Bible portions why I hold fast to our Lord Jesus Christ? I told, I hold firm to him because he is the only way, the truth and the life. I have not seen anyone who practices what he teaches here apart from our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only one who practices what he teaches. In other words, his diving, his divine utterances are in accordance with his actions. There is no contradiction in all his words and deeds. The false prophet is one who does not practice what he teaches. Whoever says one thing and does the opposite is a false prophet. An example of false prophet is someone who fixed an appointment with you at 8 p.m. and refuses to turn up even till 8.15 p.m. Such a person is a liar. If you preach love and forgiveness to people, but you the preacher fail to practice love and forgiveness, it means you're a deceiver and a false prophet. This is the problem in the entire world is facing our Lord Jesus Christ conquered and attained Christhood because he was fruitful and always remains faithful to his words. There was never a time he was found to be deceitful and for this reason God loved him the more. The, this gospel is a living testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am very glad because you are all witnesses to this gospel. What our Lord Jesus Christ did is called leadership by example. Your words and deeds must agree at all times. You must be a brotherhood by example. Therefore, I want everybody to come to the understanding that whosoever does not keep what he says, our preacher is not a true brotherhood. Such a person is not a child of God, but a child of Satan, the liar. Truth is very near to you 
and it is quite simple to practice. All you are required to do is to put into practice the utterances you make. That is why he has taught us to avoid oath taking. Do not swear by anything at all, but be truthful to what you say. Let your yes be yes and your no be no, for any behavior short of this is devilish. The Father is teaching us the words of life daily and he revealed the secret of the kingdom of God. This gospel has revealed the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ and John the Baptist practiced these words. So it behoves on all the children of God in the whole world to also practice them. Remember what our Lord Jesus Christ said? That not all those who call him Lord, Lord, would enter into the kingdom of God, but those who do the will of his heavenly Father. This kingdom is for the truthful ones. You have to speak and practice the word of God because we do not seek for the glory of the flesh in the kingdom. So you are advised not to seek for your carnal parents, your brothers, and sisters are children in the fold. We have the Holy Spirit and all the spiritual gifts abound. Also, we are one in spirit and in truth. For this reason, you are expected to always speak and practice the word of God. This is the basis of the tenets of brotherhood. The truth referred to is the power, the wisdom, the word and perfect knowledge of God, it is everlasting. You will only have the power, the truth and the word of God if you make an utterance and practice it. Speaking and practicing the word of God are the sources of salvation to man. It is for the understanding of this fact that you are taught every day to possess love, peace, patience, humility, and truth. Though you have refused to abide by these virtues of God, yet you make them the themes of your preaching to people. This confirms why you are a deceiver and for preaching what you do not practice, your words do not bring salvation to people. It is an indisputable fact that no church in the whole world practices the word of God. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, Matthew chapter 12 verses 49 to 50. And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. The source of salvation. Spiritual quarrels. He who has no relation, he who has no relation, but believes in the gospel, has Ulumba as his brother. The first Bible lesson is the truth and the real truth of God. What matters is not the big name that you are called in the church you belong to. You may be called pastor, bishop, or prophet, apostle, or anything. But this cannot give you salvation. Also, even if you are called a leader, this cannot save you. Salvation comes from practicing the words of God. Re-examine the utterances of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded in the first lesson that His parents and brethren are those who practice the words of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ had carnal parents and brothers and sisters, but when He was told that His mother, brothers and sisters were looking for Him, he pointed to his disciples whom he referred to as his brothers and sisters and parents. This is because they sat with him and listened to him daily. He made it clear 
that those who belong to him are those who do what his Father in heaven desires. Those who are my people, what do you gain after testifying or listening to the word of God for three hours only to have, only to live here and practice a different thing? Those who are my people and true brotherhood are those that practice the word of God. Brotherhood by example you are known in the fold if you are truthful and able to practice the word of god this is what is called leadership by example brotherhood by example son of god and child of god by example you have to be a christian by example do not judge any man by the tribe he belongs to or the status or the stature but his ability to practice the word of God for this is what should be considered all those who practice the word of God are true in the genes of this kingdom in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ any person who practices the word of God will surely reap the blessings of God even if he is in the village or hamlet or in the forest he will still share in the blessings of god such a person neither discriminates nor segregates if you are in a position of authority and you are to assess the performances of each of your subordinates in order to compensate them according to their performances do not be partial if for example every successful person is entitled to five naira no matter how close any of them is to you except he or she is qualified do not include him or her in the list of beneficiaries whether the person is your son or father also you should not give more to your son or daughter or friend this is the truth of the kingdom you must be truthful at all times this is what is called leadership by example you should always treat all people equally in the truth without considering their tribe, their status, their stature or gender. The moment such people comply with the teachings of the Holy Spirit, they are one of us and will become a free people. A person's age is not taken into consideration in this case. The stage we have now reached is leadership by example. Do not exhibit goodness to someone because of his rank as a pastor or apostle or with the big or with the title of a child of God but who is unable to practice the word of God anyone who does not practice the word of God is not a child of God and such a person does not belong to God such a person should not be given consideration for he has no share in the kingdom of God. When brother of the cross and star first entered the city of Enugu in Nigeria, there was one of our brother called Pastor Duki who was an important person in the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria, he used to attend Brother of the Cross and Star as though he was merely attending a fellowship meeting, not as a member. Nevertheless, he was truthful. He spoke and practiced the truth. He listened to the Father and practiced exactly what the Father says. As a result, he was made the leader representative in that area. Also, Brother Wakana 
of River State, who, although had stopped from attending services and other activities in Brotherhood by then, was made and allowed to continue as the leader's representative in River State because he did not depart from the truth received from the Father. Another instance of where the truth is adhered to strictly is the case of Bishop Goring, which you are also witnesses that though he was not baptized into Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, he was made the leader representative in Western Europe by the Father. This happened because the Father saw the truth in him. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star does not practice discrimination, and it is not strange in any land. None can deprive you of your share of blessing as a result of being newly baptized into the fold. There is no distinction as to new or old member. You are entitled to all benefits once you put the word of God into practice. I do not want an African to be the leader representative in Europe or Asia. In other words, I do not appoint a stranger to be the leader's representative anywhere else. Let an indigene be the leader's representative wherever brother out of the cross and star is found. Brother Goring got baptized two weeks after he was made leader's representative in Western Europe by the father. You should not be surprised when a newly baptized member is ordained pastor or bishop. Equally, do not raise any question if you have remained in the fold for 20 years without being made even an elder. I made a very young boy the leader's representative in ITU Mbang. From this you can realize that in this case age is not taken into consideration. I do not take into consideration someone's wealth or position or stature before doing a thing for him. Truth, the weapon of Christ. I have not come to serve human beings or angels or myself. But to serve God, I am not crafty or deceptive as you are. I am truthful and faithful. What Christ used in defeating the whole world are truth and faithfulness. In Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, there is infinite love of God and absence of discrimination. There is widespread discrimination and falsehood in the churches that abound in the world. This is why an African can never be made a Pope in the Roman Catholic Church. The position of the Archbishop of Canterbury can never be given to a Nigerian. Would the world headquarters of the Orthodox churches ever be moved to Nigeria? These are worldly establishments. They are not following the path of the Word of God. In Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, we practice universality. I often refute the claims of those who say Calabar is the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star headquarter. Even Biakpan is not the headquarter. The Brotherhood of the Cross and Star headquarter is the person who practices the Word of God. Anyone who adheres to what God the Father loves is the headquarters of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. You are enjoined not to indulge in bribery or corruption and not to prolong practicing or not to prolong preaching or prayers. Do not even write to me, but go out and practice the word of God. Your claims to be with O O Obu 
cannot help you if you fail to practice what he teaches. You refer to 34 Ambo Street, Calabar as the headquarters of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star because it is where the being who has brought the word of God to man pitched his tent. The accurate truth is that the real owners of the kingdom are those who love and practice the word of God. Recall the remarks of the King of Kings to his, in his address to the Choristers Fellowship recently. He pointed out to them the attitude of some of their members about bribery and discrimination in the Choristers pew. These practices are not in line with the teachings of Brother of the Cross and Star. In this, in this kingdom, we are one. Anybody who does the will of our Father, not considering his tribe, has right to every blessing and privileges in the kingdom. I want everybody to emulate I want everybody to emulate the example shown by our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded in the first lesson. Do not disturb your parents if they are not interested in the word of God. The people you should regard as your parents and brethren are those that adhere to the injunctions of God and love them. All those who practice the word of God are the real members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Indeed, as your close relations. Refer to the second lesson again.